harder than it seems It's not letting go of me What's there to be afraid of? Time to give it all I'm made of It's all or nothing on the beginning of the end I'm not the prey, I'm the hunter And I will defend Hey there, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue. Here's a question that I just received on my advice column that really makes me a little bit crazy. The question is, my ex wants to see me before he gets married next month. He keeps texting me all the time, tells me he still loves me, but he has no plans to change getting married to this other girl. Now we've been split up, is what she says. She says they've been split up for like two years. And she hasn't really talked to him much in the meantime, but all of a sudden now he's texting her and wanting to get together and making sure that, you know, they can be friends, but he's actually being kind of flirty with her. So it's not just, oh, you know, he's had, he wants to be the nice guy and maintain a friendship. So this is not that uncommon for this to happen because sometimes when you decide you're going to marry somebody you all of a sudden become sort of a little freaked out you get the cold feet or or you start questioning did I make the right decision when I broke up with this person but you know what you on the other end receiving these texts and and you know all this contact from him you have the right to say to him I don't want anything to do with you first of all He's cheating on this girl because he's basically doing all this behind her back. Whether he's trying to keep all his options open before it actually happens or whether he just wants to start getting something connecting with her so that he can have the best of both worlds. Whatever the case is here is people who start writing back their ex when they're already involved and actually committed to somebody else, you're just damaging your, who you are because you've let go of this person. You've done all the hard work of letting go of the emotional attachment that you had with them in the past. And now they're bringing it back up again. So now you got to start sorting out your feelings because sometimes they're just buried at the surface. So I would totally recommend that you do not contact this person. You do not respond to them. Don't give them the satisfaction of even an answer. Because this is disgusting. If they're flirting with you, they have other ulterior motives in mind. You can bet a million dollars that that is what their goal is. So if you're following through and saying, well, I don't even want to talk to you, you're already responding to them. So they know they've already kind of got a little bit of your interest. Now, if they want to get together with you, and see you for a coffee because they've got something they need to tell you to get off their chest before they marry this person. Maybe they feel bad about the way they treated you. But again, if there's anything sexually related in the text or, or anything like that, then you need to tell them, no, you're not going to see them. Because again, you'll be pulled back in to what you had with them before because all of a sudden you feel really good that, oh, they're paying attention to you again. No. They're paying attention in the wrong way. And it's not fair to the new girl that they're going to marry. And also, why would you even respect somebody who did this? Like, I would just be so disgusted that here they are getting married in a month and they're trying to flirt with you and get you to come and see them. So, no, do not respond to them. And other than to say, I'm not interested, you're getting married, you're kind of being a pig or whatever you want to say to them and move on with your life and keep it going in the direction that you've been going since you broke up with them. So that's my answer. Maybe it's a little harsh to what some people may think. I personally don't think you should ever start something back up with somebody that you've broken up with if they're engaged. What's the point? The only one that's going to get hurt in this is you. Anyway, thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get my numbers up a little bit, so I really appreciate when you take the time to do so. And leave your questions, anything you want me to talk about. Thanks, everyone. Till I reached up, turned misfortune into love, left the past behind me. The future is all that I see. Always looking to inspire, take a match and light.